And so far, as we mentioned, about 15 inches of rain has fallen in parts of Collier County. And there is a flood advisory a flash flood warning for Alligator Alley and US 41 in the eastern part of Collier. Do not drive on those roads. NBC2's Ryan Arbogast is in Everglades City tonight where the water continues to rise. 11 inches of rain and more on the way. Everglades City is being washed out as we continue into day two of our first big summertime storm. We're probably going to be fishing in our living rooms because it's, it's flooded everywhere. Throughout the low-lying city in the southernmost portion of Collier County, our crews spotted flooded roads, an underwater baseball field, and front yards that looked like swimming pools. Lifelong resident Greg B. says he was nearly stranded on his way home just last night. There's water everywhere. You got to watch out where you're driving. Like yesterday, I was stuck. I had to wait for the rainwater to recede because it was literally a river. Right as you went over to Bear River Bridge, it was a river flowing from the homes where the canal is all the way across and down that street. And there was a truck stuck down there. If you've made a trip to this tiny waterfront town near the Everglades, you know any kind of rain turns into a flood. The mayor of the city says he plans on using this storm as a baseline on what needs to be improved for the height of rainy season. Sea walls and stuff in places that are a little bit low, you know, because all this... When the water comes over the seawall, normal tides, you know, real high tides, spring tides, but especially with a storm, it's washing out of roads. And you can see if you run some of the roads in some places that the roads are in pretty bad shape. The rain is expected to continue all the way through Saturday, with an additional 5 to 10 inches possible until then. With more water and flooding on the way, residents like bees say buckle up and stay indoors. The rest of this small town needs the H2O. It was one of the rainiest dry seasons I've ever seen and one of the driest rainy seasons I've ever seen. So we actually need this as much of a you know, pain in the butt it is, we do need this. We need it desperately.